All right, let's get on to the next one. All right, gay friend. Hey, Bill, first off, thanks for the laughs. Well, you're welcome. I'm 30 years old and decided to go back to school two years ago to study chemistry. I'm an idiot like you, but with enough effort, anything is possible. Yep, I believe Kevin Garnett said that. Anything is possible! Um, During my first semester back, I befriended a gay guy. I am not gay myself, nor am I homophobic. I've also never had a gay friend. We have a lot in common, except for the fact that he likes to give and take it up the ass. Jesus Christ, dude. You could have said except that he likes gay sex. All right. I don't proofread these. I just stumble on the sentences. Here we go. During that first semester, (laughs) I started to get the feeling that he liked me. Uh, I started to get uncomfortable studying with him and stopped answering his phone calls for a few days. After those few days, I decided to call him and explain my concerns. I told him that I've never had a gay friend before. I think he's a cool guy, but I also explained that I'm getting the feeling that he thinks he might have a chance. Dude, that's you handled it perfectly. He goes, he laughed and he assured me that he wasn't hitting on me and knew I wasn't gay. He also told me that if he feel he cr- if he if I feel he crosses a line to tell him, tell him. OK, great. I said, I don't know, dude. He said he wasn't hitting on you. And then he's kind of like, yeah, but if I cross the line. Uh, the way I look at it, at the end of the day, it's a guy. All right. And guys think, you know, if you're talking to him, you want to hook up. Right. That's why women, you know, when they walk down the street, guys are like, smile, say hello. It's like, I can't. Or else you think I want to fuck you, and then I got to deal with that level of interaction. That's why I got to walk down the street with this Donald Trump look on my face, right? The same thing. I always I feel that with like gay guys. You can't, you can't, you can only be so fucking nice, or they're gonna think they got a shot because they 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 were born with a dick. That's what you, I I told I did a bit about that. Your dick's a dreamer. Your dick believes, man. It's fucking waving everybody around the third base. All right, now I'm in my second year of school fourth semester and we have more of the same classes but not together over the winter break he called me and asked if i wanted to go to the bar with him and some other friends from school i happily said yes and drove to the bar after about two hours he asked me if i have any weed and if i'd smoke smoke him down are we still talking about weed here what are we doing He's, I said, sure, let's go to my truck and smoke a bowl. During this drunken stoner session, he proceeds to get wet. Ah, get out of that truck. Get out. Yeah, you got to it. So, yeah. Listen, dude, you know what? Your gut was right. You called him on the shit, and he said that he wasn't. And I, t- I knew it with that fucking line. But if I ever cross the line, let me know. Dude, he was trying to wear you down. He was trying to hang in there long enough that you finally just said, you know what? Fuck it. Um, (laughs) So basically, okay. He proceeds to get worried. He goes, basically telling me that he knows I'm not gay, but I'm the kind of guy he likes and I'm one of his best friends and now his life sucks because he's gay. I just started laughing and saying, what the fuck? I'm too nice of a guy to say get the fuck away from me so i let him finish his thoughts he was drunk and being emotional too which was annoying he reminded me of my ex-girlfriend i'm just glad he didn't start crying anyway after what after after he was done i said that's great but i'm not wired that way sorry he kept going on and on asking me if i'm sure there isn't any secret hidden desired buried deep within me oh yeah dude it's it's late at night it's late at night this guy he's going all in uh, I explained to him that if I was doing the same thing to a girl that I had a crush on, I would be considered a creep and that the girl wouldn't want to hang out with me anymore. Dude, why are you writing me, man? You got all, you, you're handling all of this perfectly. Um, I already failed because the second he got weird in my truck, I would be like, get out, get out. Um, this was about two months ago and I've ignored him since he called me three times and I ignored them two of the calls were in the middle of the night oh Jesus 1 30 at 2 30 a.m. which leads me to believe he was being drunk and emotional exactly he goes just like a 23 year old girl he goes I don't see him at school anymore because I avoid him on purpose my question to you is am I doing the right thing yeah you're totally doing the right thing it's just because you're both guys 
and that because he's gay and he's all, like basically in the media, they're always considered victims. If there's any sort of so like you got to be more accepting, you know, at some point, if somebody's making you fucking uncomfortable and you fucking address it and they still cross the line, if that's something you're not comfortable with, it, yeah, fuck off. It's over. Beat it. You're fucking creeping me out. You know? Anyways, he goes, my question to you is, am I doing the right thing? I've never gone out of my way to avoid someone like this except for a girl after I break up with them. I have no desire to hang out with them anymore. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like a work friend you hang out with. But then one of you gets a different job and the two of you stop hanging out. I do feel bad, though, because he has had a hard life. He's the classic gay guy who grew up in Texas and was harassed and is hated by his dad. It sucks, but it's not my problem. I used to listen to his problems and try to give him advice on life and happiness and be a good friend. But after that whole truck incident, I don't want to do that anymore. Thanks for the help. Hope you and the lovely Nia have a great day. Yeah, no, dude, you're, you're fucking, you handle it perfectly. You were never a jerk to the guy. You told him exactly how you were feeling. And at the end of the day, you had respect for yourself and your own boundaries, which he didn't. So fuck off, you know? Yeah. Teach him a, uh, you know, teach him a lesson. Next time he has a straight friend, you know, just be, be a friend. Don't get high going to his truck and try to fuck him. You know? It's pretty straightforward.